What on earth is this? Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a couple of kooky, crazy kids in love. We love doing some reaction videos together. Yes, we do. So we're checking out the amazing Digital Circus pilot, finally. Um, thought it was a good time since the episode two uh, just came out uh, recently. And so this has had 313 million views in six months. That is Whoa. insane. Um, yeah, so we are very late to the bandwagon, as, as, as usual. You know, <laughs> you know, we're, we're never up to date on things. But we're going to finally check it out. Um, so here we go. I don't really know what it's about. It looks insane. Yeah. So. Welcome to the amazing Digital Circus. <laughs> My name is Kane. I'm your ringmaster. And I'm here to show you the most jaw-dropping, heart-stopping, mind-bending paraphernalia you've ever laid your eyes upon. Isn't that right, Bubble? Right, okay. Yeah. Well, let's not waste any time. Let's get right into the show. <laughs> what about the clown with a disclaimer? I don't know. I mean, give me any disclaimer on a clown is probably legit. Run! Uh-oh. Oh, you ruined everything. Kane, is this one of your NPCs or is this a new sucker? Because <laughs> if it's a new character, we're going to have to redo this whole theme song. I'm not doing that again. My, my! It appears a new human has entered this realm! How do I take this... It off. Ah. Just keep grabbing at it. That works for all of us. <laughs> oh, oh no, stop! What's going on? I put You're tripping on some balls. Weird headset, and now I'm here. Who are you people? Why can't I take it off? Where am I? Let's just try to calm down. Everything's gonna be okay, new stuff. We've all been through this. You just need to get your head what to- What the- Oh my god! <laughs> what? No, 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 my dear. We can't have any of that foul language around here. The amazing digital circus is a place to be enjoyed by all ages. You, my friends, stumbled into an incredible world of wonders where <laughs> anything can happen. Except for swearing. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Uh, well, <laughs> how do I, you know, talk? Leave? Uh. Well, don't freak out about it or anything, but, uh, we don't exactly. You can't. What? Shut up, Jax. But, yeah, he's right. Welcome to your new home. <laughs> and your new body. N a new home? What do you mean? Guys, don't be mean. We've been stuck here for years. Old Kinger over there supposedly been here the longest. Oh, did someone say something about an insect collection? So he's the That's craziest. Why he's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Freak out. Oh, okay. Now I get it. This is a dream. <laughs> and I should just play along until I wake up. Right? Whatever you say, kid. Mm. They broke my comedy mask. <laughs> so, Kane, we having a new adventure today for the newbie or what? I'd like to give our brand new member a tour of the circus grounds first. <laughs> Off we go. Here we have the tent. This is where your living quarters are, as well as all sorts of other activities. These activities may include... <laughs> oh, that sound. Ball pits, mini golf, and more. And here we have the grounds. Drown yourself in the digital lake or engage in ridery at the digital carnival. Ridery. Night, day, it's all okay. The choice is yours, a cosmic buffet. Is that all there is? Of course not. This is the void. We don't venture out into the void. Not even I know what's out there. That's... <laughs> we stay right here where I can keep my hundreds of all-seeing eyes on you. <laughs> I love you. Get out of here before the moon gets frisky. 
Wait, what's that? Oh! Whoa! Clean up on aisle you! I'm on it, boss! I'll uh, uh, oh. Why are you like this? <laughs> wait, wait! What was that an exit door I saw <laughs> like up there? This. Is that a way to leave? What exit? If there was a way to leave, I'm pretty sure we'd Get an angel vibes from this dude. Yeah, what are you mm. talking about? Uh, uh, I, I assure you, there is no magical exit door. You're probably just experiencing digital hallucinations mm -hmm. from your mind's transition to the digital plane. But, uh, I swear I saw- Digital hallucinations! <laughs> How about we talk about something else? What's your name? My name? Uh, my name is... Uh, uh, oh, God! Why Can't can't I name? remember my name? Nobody can remember their name once they enter the digital circus. One of the few things I don't have control over are your minds. So all I can help you with is coming up with a new one. Uh, what's my name? <laughs> don't you worry your little head. Your new name can be anything. Hereby acknowledging that your chosen name and your names may not breach digital circus user license stating that your name may not include objectionable content. Oh, he's going through all like the disclaimer. Uh, I don't care. Just pick anything. Let's see. What do you think of? Terrible. Let's try that again. What do you think of Pomni? Uh, sure. I think I just... That suits you right, Jax. We should have a brand new adventure for our new member, Pomni. I said that like five minutes ago. Yo! <laughs> do you like adventure? Activity? Wonder? Danger? Or pain? Suffering? Pain? Tendencies? Angel food cake? Ow! You parasite! <laughs> <laughs> Since you're new around here, we're gonna make it a simple in-house adventure to warm you up to how things work around here. What? No, God. I don't want an in-house adventure. Don't worry, Zubal. I'll make it something unobtrusive that you can still choose to not get involved with. Today's adventure is... Gather the gloinks! <laughs> <laughs> That's right. The entire circus tent will be infested with gloinks, and you can catch them all. But what are they? I'm glad you asked, Bubble. They're small. Yeah, what do they do? They. How do they? Gloinks are small, <laughs> mischievous critters that steal anything and everything they run into. Why do these humanoid hash browns do this? How do you stop them? That's for you to find out. Now, good luck and have fun, my little superstars. What did any of that mean? Oh, that's just one of Kane's little adventures. They're just something fun to do to, you know, time. prevent us from going insane. <laughs> Speak for yourself. If anyone needs me, then f off. <laughs> oh, God, oh, please, no! oh no! It's a car part! Oh no! Oh no! They killed Zubal. <laughs> anyway, you guys want to go get something to eat? Wait, we should go check on Kofmo. I'm pretty sure he'd like to meet Pony. My impenetrable fortress! You wanna <laughs> come with us to check on Kofmo? No, not really. I think Kofmo's gone insane. Last time I spoke with him, he was rambling endlessly about some exit. Kind of like you, Pomni. You <laughs> might be going insane too. But wait, wouldn't that more likely mean the exit does exist? Could also mean you just have a jump start and losing your mind. Wait, what about Zubal? Oh, I oh, it's think I'd like to ask him about it. Uh, if this was real, which it isn't, because it's a dream. <laughs> she still thinks this is a dream. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? I'm fine with doing whatever, as long as I get to see funny things happen to people. <laughs> okay, I've already had enough of these things. <sighs> you, me, and Pomni will go check on Kofmo, which leaves Crybaby and Hoo-Ha together <laughs> to go handle the Zubal situation. <laughs> do you think pairing them up together is a good idea? No. Of course I do. They're the two most mentally stable and capable <laughs> characters to be paired together. Come on, ladies. Let's go harass the clown. My comedy mask is broken again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Gangle, you startled me. So, this is where we Snuckled all live. Me? 
Or, well, Startled me. Really all sleep oh, at night. I mean, really that makes sleep, sense. I'm like, it's like, nice to kind of take a break from everything and have a bit of a routine, you know? I'm sure there will be one for. Oh, look, you already got one. I still don't understand about the adventures. Why even go on them at all? Why not try to find a way to leave? Well, we usually do when we first arrive, but after a while That's you hopeless. start to realize that you really can't leave and constantly chasing an unattainable goal will start driving you a bit crazy. And eventually you get to asking what the point of anything is and you completely lose sight of who you are and why you're even alive. And when you reach your breaking point, something really terrible can happen. Ah, uh, but that's not something we need to deal with today. Above anything else, the adventures give us something to do that keeps our minds healthy and stimulated. Thank goodness this is all a dream, right, Pomni? <laughs> Why are we here again? What are we doing? We're getting one of our friends. Creepy clown? Huh. Maybe he's not in his room? I hope he's alright. Don't worry, dollface. I've got a key to his room. Whoa, wait, what? why? You, you, you shouldn't have keys to anyone's room. Nah, I've got keys everywhere, and you've all been fine. By the way, I may have left something in your room today, so let me know if you find it. Uh, you're not afraid of stand-up feeds, are you? <laughs> That's literally my only fear. Why would you do this? What? It could be a completely unrelated question. You'll never know until it's too late. <laughs> Oh, exit. Oh, I've been looking for this. <laughs> Thanks for keeping an eye on it, Coffee. I'm going to head out and see you. Oh, Coffee's been obstructed. That, that's okay. What is that? Uh, it might be that terrible thing I was talking about earlier when you reach your breaking point. Huh? Okay, wait. Maybe there's still time to fix them before we get Kane. No, we didn't always get along, like when you called me out for fake laughing at your jokes. I swear I really did think they were funny. I was just having a bit of a bad day. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Hey, Pommy. Thank you. Help me out here. I understand if you don't want to. Oh crap, spreading, you're screwed. <laughs> you can go back and help her now. Going to carry one of Sybil's pieces down there, remember? <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you for the recap. Boy, we're not very good at this, are we? What's <laughs> <sighs> up, <sighs> fellas? Jerks! We found the Zubal hole. Cool. <sighs> How is Kofmo doing? I hope he's not still mad at me for not laughing at his jokes. Oh, he's doing great. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen him this happy before. Well, it's good to know he hasn't completely lost his mind. He actually asked sure. me to give you this. Oh! <laughs> nice. Point bomb, this is it. Sweet. Yay! <laughs> An insect collection? I think it's a nest. Hmm. Hello? R Ragatha? 
That was your name, right? Hey, look. I'm... I didn't mean to leave you behind like that. I... Just... Look at my hand. I... I didn't know what to do. Look at her. It's Whole body. Okay. What you need to do right now is find Kane. He'll be able to fix me up and to take care of Kokomo. Okay. But where can I find him? Uh, I don't really know. Just look around and call for him, I suppose. Uh, okay. I'll get him. You just stay right there. Not that you can really move or anything. Uh, just hang in there. I'll be right back. I promise. Okay. Cool. Twitching uh, out. So funny. I'm sorry. Your, your first day here had the be so terrible. Uh, yeah. Well, don't worry about it. I'm just gonna go get Kane now. Hello, Kane. We have a bit of an issue here! <coughs> oh! Huh. Go in that room. Not this one. Oh no! No thank you. Which carousels spin really fast. <laughs> Again! Not Kane. Go to one of the doors. Get the hell out of there. Oh, is that who you are? You know, you could have asked for my consent before forcing me to see something so completely and utterly disgusting. <laughs> A sandworm. Oh, Beetlejuice inspired inspiration here. Well, yeah. Royal myself, I would like to Tim Burton. Ask you yeah. Oh, look, there's Zubal. Hi, Zubal. Uh, like more colorful and good friendly. Kind of rude, Zubal. Now I don't want to help you. <laughs> no, I always lose. Because <laughs> <laughs> you can only throw one thing. I'll be fine. Oh, it's the first time she's seen herself? I guess so. Plunkies <laughs> in barrel. Yeah, nice. No doubt, just let loose a bunch of monkeys. Can <laughs> I kill the monkey? God, where is Kane? office for the rest of your life. Ooh, that sucks. <laughs> I'm not here for the adventure or anything. I'm just here to hide from the Oh. Oh, 
Thank God you're okay. You didn't experience a game show in there, did you? Uh, I... What are you talking about? Oh! oh. What's happening? It's just Cosmo. Don't worry about it. Cosmo abstracted? Nah, he's fine. <laughs> right, how are we gonna get out of here? Guys, over there. That's cool. Ladies first. No, wait, why would I say that? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Wait, Pummy's not even here? Wasn't this whole thing for her? Be quiet. I can't hear the escalator. <laughs> no, this seems like much worse than where you were. Yeah, for sure. Turn through doors and just an endless loop of the same mm -hmm. rooms. Boot it up. Into the void. know how to make me say this exact sentence. Yes! I'm alert on my wacky watch at this hour? Oh no! Someone's venturing out into the void! They'll get totally spoiled! Hmm. There you go! <laughs> now what the heck happened around here? Oh yeah, my doing. Okay. You're doing. Kofmo went through a sort of Kofmosis and abstracted. Kofmo abstracted? Why didn't anybody tell me? <laughs> <laughs> and into the cellar you go. Man, I can't believe Kofmo just gave up like that. I mean, no offense, Kinger, but I always thought you would be next. Thank you. <laughs> Guess it just goes to show you can't rely on Kinger for anything. <laughs> I am in so much pain! Oh. I do have to apologize for lying about the exit. I knew how much all of you have been wanting there to be one, but, you know, I was having so much trouble figuring out what to put on the other side and ended up never quite finishing it. <laughs> and you know how I never like letting people see my unfinished work, especially if it leads you out into the void. Anyway, looks like you defeated the Gloit Queen, so I guess the adventure's over. Your reward is a delicious digital feast cooked by our head bubble chef. Mm, made with all the love I'm legally allowed to give. You know, I oh, am I'm legally hungry. allowed. You didn't even do anything. <laughs> so what? I can still be hungry. Well, not really, because we don't need to eat, drink, or sleep in this digital world. So the digital food here only gives off the virtual sensation of eating without any of the nutritional benefits. Sheesh, lay off it. Since when are you an expert on the digital world? Expert on the what? No, I just made me think of the Umbrella Cor Corporation. Mm. Welcome to the first day of rescue. Yep. 
happy, happy, joy, joy. Rejoice. We got a smile. Rejoice. <laughs> Yep, see, he told you to boot up the computer. Huh? Okay. All right, so what'd you think? I mean, I had no idea what to expect, so I was going into this with zero expectations. Interesting assortment of characters. Yeah. I want to know more. So like it was very successful in that. Like how does one get to the digital circus? Like she obviously was looking for it. It felt like a more normal reality of what we would consider to be normal reality. That's why she was looking for an exit. She went through to what looked like yeah. an office building at first. Cause that seemed familiar and, and accessible to her um, in a way that being in a digital circus was not. Mm -hmm. So a lot of questions. Um, I don't know that I'm a hundred percent hooked in that. Like, I found my character that I'm like, oh yeah, this is yeah. this is the the person whose journey I connect with and who I want to tune in and see time and again. But there was enough there, and I'm certainly curious. So we'll we'll be eager to see what they do with the next episode. Yeah, very creative uh, cast of characters and just this uh, world in general. It gave me like some uh, Sword Art Online um, vibes, just because mm -hmm. like. The whole, because she talked about how she put it like on a digital headset, and now she was trapped in this world, and so that same thing with like Sword Art Online, where like now you're like tra like trapped in this game, um, but not quite like that because they also said they didn't need to like basically eat or hmm. do any of that stuff. Wouldn't get any nutritional value since they're all it's, the, it's their digital cells, but I don't know how they survive in the real life if they have these digital headsets on. Anyways, might be thinking about about that too much. Um, Kane, I think, I guess, is my, is my favorite character uh, in there uh, so far. Um, the bunny, um, like I said, kind of gave me <coughs> uh, vibes of like Angel from Hasman Hotel. Uh, just, yeah, I don't know, just kind of that not giving a fuck kind of vibe that uh, he had going on there um so i think he's probably the next character that i i liked uh the main character i kind of is kind of like supposed to be like us like freaking out and not knowing what the hell is going on in this world i also really liked the ribbon character yeah i thought you would be like i was surprised you didn't say that was your favorite character i just like the like they broke my comedy man <laughs> he's crying i mean i just yeah very much enjoyed that character and i realized like on the surface it's not like that character did a whole lot, like mm -hmm. compared to Kane and the bunny rabbit yeah. and Palm, you know. Um, but like the shtick was effective. So like every time I came back to it, I was pleased and happy to see it. So Yeah, you were well the, the rock, paper, scissors, like I always lose. <laughs> I always lose. <laughs> well, and then I'm sitting here going, like, well, the end of the ribbon has sort of like the two ends. Like, could you be scissors? <laughs> if like could you, you gotta get creative. on the side? Yeah. It doesn't go. always have to be paper, but they can win once in a while. And they can win once in a while. Yeah. True. Yeah. Um, you just need that second option. All you need is two, even if you can't do all three options, as long as you can do two of the three, yeah. you can win sometimes. Exactly. Uh, so hopefully, uh, Ribbon, you know, is, 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 is paying attention to this and watching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing what the next part is and seeing how they continue this uh, and like what kind of. How they continue telling tell the story in the world and um, what the main like sort of like plot is going to be uh, about this. I guess it's going to be kind of like uh, Pomni or whatever trying to escape this world. Um, yeah. So that's all I mean. The only thing I can think of right now as far as what they're going to continue this with as far as like the main story. Or if it's just going to be like, it might not be, even be episodic or it might not even be serial like that. It just might be episodic where it's just like each one is just kind of like the insanity that goes on in this world. I do have to say a huge shout out to our community and, and a Big thanks for recommending this and like has been hotel and um I love a boss. Thank you. That's the other one I was mm -hmm. looking for. Um and then what's the other one with like the the crazy robots? Murder drones, which we need there, to get back to. Uh drones. we'll have to rewatch murder drones episodes one and two on our end just because it's been a while. It's been so long. So I was like, I'm like, that's another thing. I'm like, oh yeah, we gotta get to episode three, but like episode two or three. I don't yeah, however they how they label this. Cause cause this one they label 
pilot and then episode two. And then I don't know if they, uh, Murder Jones does that, if it does pilot then, or episode one, two, or if it just, you know. You know what I'm talking about. We've seen two episodes. Uh, so before we go on to the third episode that we need to watch, we need to rewatch everything else because otherwise I think we'll just be completely lost. Yeah, uh, definitely. But what one of the things that I'm finding in terms of like what we're seeing through these is just the incredible creativity that's going into this original content, mm-hmm. um, which is unfortunately contradictory to what we're seeing in the mainstream, which seems to be just a bunch of remakes and like continuations of stories yeah. that we've, we've already known. Um, so to come and see this stuff, which is completely new and imaginative and, and everything is just very refreshing. Um, so big shout out to all of you for recommending it because this is fantastic. Let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments. And thanks so much for checking out our reaction for the amazing Digital Circus pilot, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.